The Curie Booth is a short horror game created by Kyle Howard in 2021, with its director's cut being released a year later. Before we dive in, you probably aren't familiar with the premise of this game, so I will provide you with a brief summary. You are the gatekeeper of a company named Nova Nexus. Your mission is to verify the individuals passing through the entrance gate. You have a computer that displays the license plates of all the employees' cars. Inside your booth, there's also a telephone. It's important to remember this detail. If you leave the cabin door open for too long, it will close automatically. After playing for about 20 minutes, a man appears. Let's refer to him as the stranger. He starts gazing at you from a distance, and you can't approach him due to an invisible barrier. Your car moves from the street to the entrance of Nova Nexus, and the person inside claims to be a new employee who's running late. I will stop disclosing more of the story from this point on, since from here the story changes course. Just a few warnings, we will skip 5 endings, as they don't contribute significantly to the lore. And, of course, this video includes some jump scares, so watch with caution. I hope you enjoy the video. Well, let's ignore the man and continue with the work. I didn't mention this to you before, but someone named AS left numerous pages scattered around the area, and they appear bit by bit. I'll dedicate a chapter solely to these pages, and throughout them, we will uncover the game's story. A few minutes after the stranger leaves, a weird situation occurs. The gatekeeper is checking if the car nearby belongs to an employee, and then... A few more minutes later and... As usual, the gatekeeper is working, however this time, instead of another hand appearing, the telephone rings. Well, let's carry on with the work, shall we? Well, the car is gone. Let's continue work. Alright, we're reaching the end. Emergency. Emergency. Lockdown system activated. Security weapons activated. Oxygen levels reducing. Your families will be informed of your death. Emergency. Emergency. Lockdown system activated. Wow, that was a Windows. Let's recap what happened. A strange man starts gazing at us from afar, then he tries to enter Nova Nexus but is denied. Later, an apparent ghost appears, which turns out to be just a floating tower. To conclude, bloody hands begin to cover the entire booth, 
and after a phone call informs us that the lockdown system has been activated, the stranger appears in front of the booth, possibly trying to communicate throughout the phone. He states that they are here. Wow, quite a story. And it seems to end here. A tale about a gatekeeper who, due to unfortunate circumstances, ends up encountering something similar to the devil. However, as you can see, the video is far from over. We still have plenty of content left. To start, we have the papers. The papers are, well, papers, obviously, that serve as traces of the game story. You come across them during gameplay, and they contain a lot of text. For this reason, I've decided to dedicate a chapter solely to reading these papers. But, as I mentioned, since there are numerous papers, some will be left out of the video. Now, without further ado, let's see what's in those papers. The first paper explains that a group of people are conducting an experiment, and two of them are named Natasha and A.S. A.S. has a special connection to the experiment, as he believes it will succeed. He also mentions that Natasha died last week. In the second paper, A.S. is frustrated with his director, who keeps conducting tests on the experiment relentlessly. A.S. also notes that it is functioning perfectly. During this summary, many questions will remain unanswered, mainly because some words are censored in the actual game. In the third paper, we see that some people have started to change their mind about what they are doing. This happened due to some issues with AS also mentions that his director had a conversation with and, according to him, they advised him to move forward. In the fourth paper, AS complains that someone attempted to destroy one of the and luckily, he was there at the moment. He momentarily thought he might be fired, but praised him. However, his director, strangely, seemed anxious. The fifth paper reveals that the director is going mad and he's going around in circles with the tests. And if he doesn't stop, AS will shoot him. You might be feeling lost, so let me summarize the pages. So, we are likely looking at diary pages of a person named AS. He's probably a scientist in a laboratory and they are conducting an experiment. His director has been acting strange over the days and AS is very concerned about it. I would say the lab is the place where we spend most of the time in security booth, Nova Nexus. There's also a possibility of the stranger being AS or his director but none of the theories can be confirmed. Well, maybe we will find out more as the story progresses, right? Now, let's read the last two papers. In the sixth paper, we find out that the director was sent home because he fell ill. AS mentions that he was saying no sense called things about something moving in the shadows. And, since Natasha's death, AS feels like he's being watched and has seen something moving in the shadows exactly what his director mentioned. However, AS thinks it's just him overworking himself. In the seventh and final paper, he appears relieved because the experiment was approved. He also believes we will change the world. He mentions that many people are concerned about an error named 050477. But he has checked the system multiple times and everything's fine. Alright, more content! The director and AS are sensing a strange presence in the shadows, and the experiment was approved, but people are concerned about an error named 050477, which I haven't mentioned it to you, but one of the phone calls in the game mentions it precisely. Error code 0, 5, 0, 4, 7, 7. Error for now, my theory is that they are dealing with something supernatural, and the experiment the group is conducting is interconnected with the supernatural entity. Now, I'm even more convinced that the strange might be the director, as he started behaving unusually and fell ill shortly before the experiment concluded. Well, 
there's still a lot of content left to read, but I consider it to be spoilers since you can only see them during the gameplay of the VHS tapes, which is what we'll be delving into in the next 3 chapters. You start in an office room. As you walk up to the computer, there's an incident report from the Arch Zone site about Natasha Singh, Carrie Montgomery, and Andrea Zistavas. The details of the incident are censored. It's also mentioned that Natasha's body was not found because it went through. In the additional details, it's said that the recording of the incident was sent to the director along with the written report. Upon leaving the computer, there's no more important information in the room, so logically, you'd want to see what's behind the door. You will be surprised. I got a call today offering me a job. It was a place named Nova Nexus and it really sounded like a nice job. The more I think about it though, I'm pretty sure I never applied to this place. After weeks of tests, we finally started it was fantastic, we even heard something coming from it. What was that though? It was so alluring but also familiar. I lost myself. It's only death. The void, the shadows, the call, brain hollow, heart, they come, the void, look in the shadows, ruining will rain upon us. Void, scared. Lost myself. What's behind the door? Inside the room, we have several locked computers and someone calling on the phone. You find these collectibles during the game, but ignore them as they are not important. Unfortunately, the door is locked. Yes? Sir, we're ready for phase three. Issues. Everything seems clear. Natasha has gone into the arc to check on the devices. Temperature. It's sitting at 10 Celsius right now. Wait, the system just activated. Death. The and so the first tape ends. My theory is that this tape showed us how the director's mind was destroyed by the experiment. We also learned the name of AS, Andreas Stavas, the full name of Natasha Singh, and one of the employees, Kara Montgomery, who's the same woman speaking with the director at the end of the tape. The story is escalating rapidly. And we are nearing the end. Let's move on to VHS tape 2. 
Hey, before continuing, I have a warning. This video was divided into two parts because the total size is too large. If you want, you can watch part two right now. If not, please save the video to watch later. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon.